Alright, soy nuts compare, uh, com com combined with with the uh, cranberries is not a it's not a terrible combination. It's okay. For this, I want to use the wooden one because I'm smashing a lot, and I have on the big stone one that was a stone pestle before, and I cracked the edge. But if I use sto uh, wood, wood on stone, when I hit it, it's fine. It's not as damaging, more damaging to the wood. Okay, so I'm going to the Spanish Forks Library. I might stop. Well, I have to stop if I see a gas station on the way. Getting pretty low. It's going to get so darn cold these next few days. I just, I really... I got it. It looks like I'm gonna have to drive, uh, like enough to, to 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 spend a whole tank of gas. And what does that cost? Like twenty-five dollars. If I spend twenty-five dollars, see how far the car can take me. Where can it get me? Oh my goodness! Oh, it's pretty busy. Pretty busy. Not extremely busy, but I had to I had to jump in there at, at this hour. It's not rush hour. Okay, so it's a pretty straightaway shot. I take a right at a T intersection, so I'm gonna guess. And I don't see any gas stations. I'm gonna guess that it's after this. Oh, oh! I missed it. <laughs> These tires hold up pretty good. Uh, oh, uh, okay, the lane, yeah, it's gone to one lane, so it's saying that the traffic is reduced. In fact, there's, there's, um, gar um, farming stuff. Oh, this is, this should not be my turn. It's, it looked like a T intersection on the internet, on Google Maps. So, I take a right at the T and then a left at... The, the, um, the National Guard or something. Yeah, things, things look a little more, a little more spaced out here. It's, it's kind of nice. Um, there's a food bank just north of, of the library, just like a block. It's like a, a food bank just a block away. Oh my god. Alright, so this T intersection is a little further than I expected. I just, it's hard to measure distance on the, on the map effectively. So sometimes blocks are longer than they, they seem. Um, yeah, I slept okay last night. It wasn't too cold. I think maybe the maybe I'm beating the, the cold a little bit by, by moving uh, north south a little faster, but that, that temperature is going to really drop. It's, I don't think it's going to get above above uh, thaw. Although this is melting, this water is melting. I don't think it's going to... Free MMA kids? Um, oh man, really? I crossed the highway? Huh. Oh well. Uh, yeah. This should take me to the National Guard place. But yeah, it's like, I got a, what, Hill, oh, haha, <laughs> Hill Aerospace Museum, they're advertising all the way over here, and it's free, well, where are they getting the money for that, donations, yeah, it says free admission, but they spent money on that ad, that's kind of funny, that's, that's probably like an hour north of here, maybe less, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, two like two and a half hours to go on the speed limit and all that, which I tend tend to go below the speed limit. Should get me north of of uh, Las Vegas. I'm kind of interested in Las Vegas, but more on the outskirts. I would park on the outskirts and then bicycle in, exploring things. And by the way, my my uh, my camera's been acting, the battery, it's, 
this cold is really killing it. <laughs> I'll need to bring the I'll need to bring like an extra battery the extra battery pack. Keep this ba extra battery pack charged up. The cold is really working its number on my my batteries for everything. Although it, it's not really noticeable on my iPad. My iPad battery is pretty pretty strong, but the iPod, jeez. It's in, it's just uh, it's something. It must be a different kind of battery or something. All right, on this road, it, it's supposed to turn into Main Street, and I'll I'll even drive past the food bank so I can see what it kind of looks like. The library is in a in a nice park, and I'll park right in the the park parking lot, which is nice. Yeah, the things are things are nicely spread out. This is. This is the agricultural area. Spicer's paper storage area. I don't know. It's this is a big storage warehouse road. Oh, Sinclair, but that's for trucks. Uh, ooh, ooh, I don't think anybody's working here. Oh, but I do need the gas. Okay, what I need to do is get. I need to I need to remember the zip code for Boise to be able to use my card. Diesel. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna shut this up. All right, just got a little gas. I couldn't remember my zip code, so I looked it up on the map. And uh, yeah got it that way so that's good I thought I would need the internet to get that zip code so these self services ones are pretty nice it's not too busy around here so why why have somebody pumping gas out here and you could save money there's some interesting warnings I saw on the, the gas station. I took a picture of it and uh, I think I'll just throw it up on Instagram. So it can be zoomed in and you can read each individual warning. Like, for example, long term exposure to the gas fumes give lab rats cancer. So I guess if you, uh, you have them smell it 24 hours a day, that, that's probably going to. It's gonna hurt. So it does make you a little, a little sick breathing it in every so often. You don't want to breathe that in too often. There's certain, certain fumes you don't want to get in the habit of breathing in. Oh my! <laughs> um, I'm now I'm looking for that park. Not sure how far down it is. Oh my god, how much is it gonna snow? This is crazy. I seriously, I got a full tank. I should just take it and run. Oh my god, a train? I should just take this gas, this full tank. It'll get me, it should get me to almost Las Vegas, but not quite. I'm thinking. Got a train slowly, slowly coming or going. I'm not sure which. It's going away, but that's that's strange. Yeah, it's moving. It's like it turned around or something. All right, so no no train show. It's off to the right there. So Salt Lake City. I wonder how far that is now. Take a left and then oh, I didn't. I guess I just didn't really see the sign. You take a right, probably to go to Las Vegas. A lot of signs pointing that. I wonder what the capital of Nevada is. I don't even know. Don't tell me it's Reno. That's too far. I don't want to go that way. I would be interested in the capital a little bit. 
But if it's like Reno, then no way. That's a little too close to Sacramento. Which is the capital of California. Alright, three lanes. I guess I want to get into that middle lane. At some point here. Quite a few stops. There's a shop co, so... So it's got some shopping going on around. That guy's just backing up like a crazy fool. Off in the distance there. Uh, oh, he wanted to get through the drive-thru. He, he decided at the last minute he'd rather go through the drive-thru than walk in. Okay, so I'm going to get into the left lane here. Just to be prepared for anything. And yeah, it's snowing so much. I'm not sure where the next Walmart is. I think well, actually kinda of do. It's one there's one further south. I actually have to skip a city and go to the Walmart. I'm willing to do that. If it was good weather, I'd hang out more in the cities and bicycle around checking them out, but when it comes to this, when it comes to freezing, I can't, it's hard to bicycle, so I don't even bother. I know I, I could maybe, instead of skip that city, only spend a little bit of time at this library and go to that, that library too. Just check out the area, not spend a lot of time in it, and then get to the Walmart when it closes which now I'm getting into wall to libraries that are op that are closing a little earlier I believe hopefully this library is gonna be better Provo they they do so much uh, to stifle the internet they block all good websites they they slow down the upload speeds and this is they got Google Fiber and they're just doing all this all this uh, holding back and I don't know if it's to keep in like in the spirits of is this the library I'm gonna just take a left here because it looks like it could be I'm taking a, I don't see any signs but yeah that looks like I didn't look at it on the Google Maps I should have but yeah that, that looks like a library big old statue holy crap all these spaces are taken all of them. Okay, I just gotta squeeze in. Alright, nice little rose garden. Okay, while well at the food bank, I got this this uh, tags, and it's a voucher for f uh, clothes. Take a look and see what they have. I'm a little curious. <laughs> I could use, uh, I think, a shirt and probably pants. People say they're open, but. It's 10 to 10.30 to 4.30 only, and I've just missed it. God, I hate missing these places. It's not open. So they give a clothing voucher. I got a $25 clothing voucher at Tags here. And they got everything. I guess I could look for other things, too. But this voucher is only for clothes. Assume that with Ralph Lauren, they don't uh, they don't put pockets on the shirts. I need a pocket for this camera.
<clears throat> okay, so I was told that they don't take these. It's denied. There's a miscommunication somewhere. So, Is that what they said? They said they don't take these, so that's that's just uh, you know. Okay. Just just let you know, so you don't you know make those mistakes in the, in the future. Okay. Or Okay, so I went to the food bank. They said I got I could use a $25 food voucher. It turned out to be no good. Came back to them. The food voucher's no good. And they uh, found out that it's no good. Calling them directly. So I got the food. Now, I've never seen pork chunks before. This is like a highlight. Not for resale. Not too bad sodium. Doesn't look too bad. Just hope it's not laden with listeria. Got salmon, they offered cranberries, but I actually bought some because I wanted to eat something different. Uh, yeah, these, I can't wait to crush a lot of this stuff. I'm so full right now for my my big breakfast. I didn't know if I was going to have any food bank food, and it turns out I do. I actually got another food bank. Decent stuff, plain, low fat, that's a good combo. That's what I look for in the stores. So yeah, I couldn't, I didn't take everything, of course. A lot of stuff with sugar added. Not too thrilled about that. Two of these milk things. I could have grabbed two raisins, I only grabbed one. Pesto, very addicting. I can actually make that in my, my food. My mortar and pestle. In this, in this stone one. And this thing can break glass. Wow, if I ever get... It's trapped inside. I could just take this or even the mortar and just smash glass easily. It really it feels like it can smash. I grabbed celery. It's been a long time. I want to crush up some peanuts and have that with pe crushed peanuts. So it's a good choice. Good choices. And they'll, they'll preserve too in this nice cold weather. Especially these bananas. They're honoring some kind of expedition. 1776. The Timapagnes. What? I've never seen reference to that. Maybe I have. Oh, here's the beginning. Start here, read here. Timpa bones. Yeah, they're the fish eaters. Maybe that's what they're called. And then here's a statue to commemorate uh, the once the, the time that they were once friendly. Looks like it's made out of uh, a little bit of copper, stained green.